Earth's rotation is slowing down, and recent studies have brought this long-known process back into public discussion. Some headlines suggest this could eventually lead to longer days, even reaching 25 hours. The science behind that idea is real, but the way it's often presented misses important context. These changes are measured in milliseconds and unfold over timescales far beyond everyday life. What matters is what scientists are actually observing today, how they measure it, and why it helps us understand Earth as a dynamic system. In this video, we will explore what the research really shows, why it matters scientifically, and what it means for the future. Let's get started. Earth's rotation has never been perfectly constant. What has changed in recent decades is not the planet's behavior, but our ability to observe it with extreme precision. Scientists now track Earth's rotation continuously using atomic clocks, satellite laser ranging, and astronomical reference points far beyond the solar system. These tools allow changes in the length of a day to be measured down to milliseconds. When researchers talk about Earth's rotation slowing, they're referring to long-term averages, not a steady, year-by-year -year decrease. In reality, the length of the day fluctuates constantly. Atmospheric winds, ocean currents, earthquakes, and interactions between Earth's core and mantle all cause short-term variations. Some years are slightly shorter than average, others slightly longer. These fluctuations are normal and expected. When data is averaged over decades and centuries, however, a clear trend emerges. Over long periods, Earth's days are gradually getting longer. This conclusion is supported not only by modern measurements, but also by geological evidence. Fossilized growth patterns in ancient corals and shells show that hundreds of millions of years ago, Earth completed more rotations per year. The planet still orbited the Sun once annually, but individual days were shorter. What has renewed attention to this topic is the ability to link subtle changes in rotation to observable processes happening today. Studies analyzing more than a century of Earth orientation data show that mass movement on Earth's surface, particularly the redistribution of water, has a measurable effect on rotation. As ice melts, groundwater is depleted, and water moves into the oceans, Earth's mass distribution shifts slightly. These effects do not dominate Earth's rotation, nor do they override the long-term gravitational interaction with the Moon but they are now large enough to be detected and separated from other sources of variation. The discovery here is not that Earth is suddenly slowing faster than expected, but that we can now see how multiple systems, climate, oceans, and the solid Earth contribute to subtle changes in the planet's spin. The primary driver of Earth's long-term rotational slowdown is the Moon. The physics behind this process is well understood and has been operating for billions of years. The Moon's gravity pulls on Earth's oceans, creating tidal bulges. Because Earth rotates faster than the Moon orbits, these bulges are carried slightly ahead of the Moon's position. This offset creates a gravitational interaction that acts as a break. The Moon pulls back on the bulges, removing rotational energy from Earth. That energy is transferred to the Moon's orbit, causing the Moon to slowly move farther away while Earth's rotation gradually slows. This process, known as tidal friction, explains why days lengthen over geological time. Earth's rotation is also influenced by how mass is distributed within and on the surface of the planet. Earth is not a rigid object. Its atmosphere, oceans, mantle, and liquid outer core are all in motion. When mass moves closer to Earth's axis of rotation, the planet spins slightly faster. When mass moves farther away, it spins slightly slower. This is the same principle that allows a spinning figure skater to control their rotation speed. Climate-related processes contribute to these mass shifts. As large ice sheets melt in Greenland and Antarctica, water moves from land into the oceans. Groundwater extraction and large reservoirs also redistribute mass across the planet. These changes are small compared to Earth's total mass, but precise measurements show they are not negligible. Another important effect of mass redistribution is polar motion. 
As Earth's mass balance changes, the rotational axis shifts slightly relative to the planet's surface. This does not mean Earth is tipping over or becoming unstable. The changes are measured in meters over years and are part of Earth's natural behavior. Some components of this motion are cyclical, while others show long-term drift linked to changes in ice and water storage. From a scientific standpoint, Earth's rotation acts as a sensitive probe. By tracking tiny changes in spin rate and axis orientation, researchers gain insight into processes occurring in Earth's interior, oceans, and climate system. Rotation data provides an independent way to study how different parts of the planet interact over time. The question most often asked is whether Earth will eventually experience 25-hour days. Based on current models of the Earth-Moon system, this would take on the order of 200 million years. This timescale places the idea firmly outside any context relevant to human civilization, biology, or technology. In the present day, the implications are limited to fields that rely on precise timekeeping, satellite navigation systems, space missions, and global communication networks depend on accurate synchronization between atomic time and Earth's rotation. Because Earth's spin is not perfectly uniform, small adjustments have historically been needed to keep civil time aligned with the planet's orientation. Short-term variations in rotation continue to occur. In recent years, there have been periods where Earth rotated slightly faster than average, producing marginally shorter days. These changes are caused by temporary shifts in atmospheric circulation, ocean dynamics, and interactions within Earth's interior. They do not contradict the long-term slowdown driven by tidal friction. Looking forward, scientists are refining models that connect climate processes to rotational behavior. While climate change will not dramatically alter the length of the day, it does leave measurable signatures in Earth's rotation and polar motion. Understanding these links helps improve models of both Earth's dynamics and long-term climate behavior. There is also broader significance beyond Earth. Many planets and moons show evidence of rotational evolution, including tidal locking and extreme spin changes. Earth provides a uniquely detailed case study allowing scientists to test theories that apply across the solar system and beyond. The key takeaway is that Earth's rotation is shaped by multiple overlapping processes operating on very different timescales. Some act over days and years, others over millions of years. Modern science allows these influences to be separated, measured, and understood as parts of a single system. Earth's rotation is slowing, but the change is measured in milliseconds and unfolds over millions of years. A 25-hour day is a real possibility in deep geological time, not a future humans will experience. What matters today is how precisely we can observe and understand a planet that is always in motion. <laughs>